So welcome to the first part of the ProxClan podcast. Today I'm, uh, today I'm here with... Trust Gone. And we are going to talk about... What is it again? I forgot, kind of. <laughs> the meaning of life. Oh, yeah, yeah, the meaning of life. So well, what is your view on the meaning of life, Trust Gone? What is my view on the meaning of life? Yeah. That is a really good question. I believe the meaning of life is to live. Do you know what I mean? I, I kind of get it, yeah, kind of. Uh, and what it means to live to you? Well, you know, you maybe have a hobby. You spend your time doing what you like, um, trying to be happy. You know? life yeah uh, th th there comes the other question i could ask what means to be happy <laughs> yeah what does it mean to be happy does money make you happy me you asking me or now yeah i'm asking you does money uh, make you happy that's like discussable but it, i mean i would say it helps you but it's not enough you know because I currently feel like I have everything I could need. I mean, I, I don't feel like I'm not happy, but I don't feel that if I had more money, it would make me any happier. But again, if I had nothing, I had barely any food to eat, then yeah, money would make me happy because I could eat. <laughs> so, you know, it, it depends. It all depends on your life situation. I would say it that way, yes. So if you are pretty wealthy, then I guess more money wouldn't really make you happy. You yeah. would need you would need something more like like affection, like real friends, maybe like a family and stuff. I mean yeah, that, that could be a thing. But there comes the question like can you really get them when you are already wealthy, you know, because it's really hard to find some real friends, you know, <laughs> when you have money. How do you know that they are real, you know? Yeah, it's like you don't know if they want you for your money or for your personality. Yeah, exactly. I, and the truth is that for 99%, it's the money. <laughs> yeah, that's true. I mean, currently, I don't really crave for any more money because I don't really feel like it would make me any happier. Literally, if I would be the richest person in the world right now, I would feel the same, exact way. Maybe I would be a bit more stressed because of the money. <laughs> yeah. Uh, okay, so we discussed this, uh, the happiness. We get back to the meaning of the life. You said your opinion. I'm going to discuss my opinion a bit because I see things a bit differently. You know, I don't, I mean, um, there's no subjective, there, no, there's no objective reality. We only have subjective realities. So that means that for you have a different meaning. I have a different meaning. And <laughs> my, my meaning is kind of funny because I'm trying to understand everything, which is literally impossible yeah <laughs> but yet i'm still doing it and that's what keeps me alive <laughs> you know yeah i know what you mean because it, it really just interests me like finding out new things learning new things and trying to understand things that are basically not understandable for example yeah the world universe and everything <laughs> yeah it's uh, very complex everything yeah like there is no true one meaning of life like there is probably a million different meanings out there uh billions, <laughs> billions. yeah yeah even though it, it could be like stereotyped and stuff because most people want you know a family and stuff uh, it's like literally the majority of the people yourself yeah, included that... right so of course i want a family eventually Exactly. And I mean, I, I used to have the same view. So, and there's something wrong about it. I mean, I don't think there's a wrong choice in 
how to go through your life. You know, you should just do whatever you enjoy, whatever makes you happy and just don't waste your time. You know, <laughs> you have just limited. Yeah. Okay. Um, also, I have this kind of struggle that um, I kind of know that, you know, life has no objective meaning. So it's kind of like you have then that uh, feeling that nothing really matters and you get these bad moods and stuff. Um, yeah, yeah. And th this comes with, in my opinion, is the issue of that. But ha of having basically too much knowledge. I'm, I'm not saying that I'm like genius or something. No, I'm actually pretty stupid. <laughs> but I, I, I've come to a point when I know stuff which maybe I wouldn't want to know, you know? Yeah, I know what you mean. I, I know a lot of stuff too that maybe I would be better off not knowing. Yeah, exactly. I mean, I, I'm, I don't really want to like bring in the relationships into this, but... Yeah, basically, it's kind of the same there. You know, when you have a girl or something, you kind of, like, want to check stuff if she isn't, like, texting with anyone else and stuff. But at the same time, you don't want to do it because, you know, if you find out, it's not going to be really good for you. So then there's the same, like, uh, opposite feelings, you know? Yeah, like... When you have a girlfriend, you know, you just want to make sure she she's like good, you know. What do you mean by that? Good. You know, like you want to check her phone sometimes, but you also don't want to like invade her privacy because she has her yeah, yeah. right, you know, to have a to have privacy too. But like, you know what I mean. Yeah, I get what you mean. I mean, you want to give her the privacy, but at the same time, you know, you have to check it because we all know how relationships go. So, I mean, that there's nothing yeah, really most, to describe about that. Yeah, most of the time, yeah. Yeah, so, I mean, it makes sense if you check it. And there's just the thing that um, it also is deeper. It goes deeper, like... If she knows that you're not going to check her phone, then she has it, it ha has it like a lot easier to do the things you wouldn't really want her to do and wouldn't be good for your relationship. But if you check her phone, it kind of pushes her a little bit at least away because she knows, you know, he will check it. I shouldn't do this stuff and things like that, you know? Yeah, yeah. So, I mean, I think in my opinion, partners should like um, share this kind of stuff but again it comes to the relationships to the views and opinions i mean this is just my opinion of course um but yeah we're not going to go into relationships <laughs> we are staying with yeah. the meaning of life um yeah so as i said it's kind of you come to a point when you realize that things don't really matter and it's not really just about depression or something you really have like the knowledge that it doesn't matter if I go for a coffee today with that girl or not. It doesn't matter if I die today or not. It doesn't matter if I build an empire tomorrow or not. You know, it, the world is going to be exactly the same. That's the point. Yeah, pretty much, yeah. So, also, I don't really want to deep into that, go deep into that again, but there's another thing that kind of uh, is related to it, like to the meaning of life my view of the entire like existence and stuff I like the universe i think that uh you know they say that the universe is expanding it's infinite and stuff you know that yeah i know that well, well i think that if that is true then in that case it can be infinitely big and infinitely small which basically means uh, I mean, I basically think that uh, if you look at the whole universe, it kind of looks like an atom in my view, but why why there's just why, why there's more like planets, galaxies and stuff? Because like when you go into atom, I think that we can't see that there's more to it. Basically what uh, the scientists talk about, like the dark matter, that 
you know, we don't really know what it is or dark energy. We don't know what it is. And I think that that also they say that 99% of atoms is like empty, that there's nothing. And I think that's not true. I think that's not true. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I know what you mean. And I think that there are the, the, like there's the dark matter or dark energy that they talk about. And that that is the things that are there, that, but we can't see them the same like when you go to bigger scales. You know, we can see yeah. only our universe. That would be like one atom <laughs> or one electron on something, you know? Yeah. But basically, I think that the, it's basically a loop and it always goes over and over. I mean, yeah. you, you can literally look uh, at atoms and like solar systems and the, uh, the, the planets that are going around the uh, stars are going around like protons and electrons av around the atom, you know, I, I don't know the word for it. <laughs> Hmm. You get what I mean. You get what I mean. My yeah, idea. yeah, yeah. Yeah, I know what you mean. It's a very complex everything, you know. Oh yeah, around the core, the electrons and protons around the core. That's what I wanted to say. Yeah. Um. But that's kind of my idea about it, and that that's why when you come to it, that's why I think it, it's still related to the meaning of the life, kind of. Because that is why I believe that nothing really matters since it's infinitely small, infinitely big and we are not the smallest we are not the biggest it doesn't matter how big we are you know yeah also that there's the topic that we could kind of you know talk about again our aliens and stuff because this already relates to it but you know i don't want to make this too long because it's the first part and stuff so just yeah, you yeah. know to give and give people an idea what would this be about but um, I think that that that's kind of a good like argument that we are certainly not alone, <laughs> you know? Yeah, of course. I don't <laughs> believe, I never believe that we are alone, that we are the only intelligence, intelligent life in the whole universe. I don't yeah, believe right. that. Like it's way too big for it to not be another intelligent life. Yeah, exactly. I mean, it, it's so big, we can't imagine, we can't even describe it. And that that is exactly why I think like, there must be someone, <laughs> there must yeah. be someone. So stop asking, are we alone? That's just so stupid question. Yeah. Just, just look up, look up into the stars, you see, Billions of them, trillions, I don't know. It never ends. Yeah. And the other point is that, uh, as I said, we don't see everything from atoms because it's so small. We can't get that full like picture. Um, it stays same when you go further, you know? We can't see the whole universe and everything because we can't get that far. <laughs> yeah, that's true. So. That is why I think that, uh, in my opinion, the meaning of life, I mean, there's no meaning of life, basically, and nothing really matters. But again, then on the, this is why I'm kind of a nihilist, existential nihilist, to be honest. But on the other way, I'm also an existentialist because I think that, yeah, nothing has an objective like meaning, nothing really matters. But what the hell are you going to do about it? You know, <laughs> you, you should just do whatever you enjoy and enjoy life because you know yeah because because that's, that's what you were given you were given a life do the most yeah. of it yeah exactly so I, I think you should just find what you enjoy what you like and do it that, that is kind of why i actually um founded prox clan and also like did this a bit like uh, like firstly, when I founded Proxy in 2010, it was just about have, being in a community, having friends and stuff. Now it's more about like the, the main, main meaning is the same, you know, have friends, find new friends and stuff, uh, the bonding. Yeah. But what I also try to focus on now is kind of self-improvement, self-growth. By that I mean, 
you know, basically you learn a lot of new stuff and you will find out that you actually like stuff you didn't even know about, you know? Yeah, yeah. So, for example, if you told me that I should, you know, learn something about psychology or philosophy three years ago, I would tell you, now nah, that's boring stuff, you know? But now, currently, I really enjoy it. Yeah. So, I mean, I think we kind of summed up most of the stuff, if you don't have anything to, like, say. I'm pretty... I'm, I'm, I said what I wanted to say. Okay. I also covered my view on the meaning of life, the nihilist view, and also the existential view. Um, if anyone has a different view on the meaning of life, please leave your opinions or views in the comments. Uh, I will also leave the uh, URL to our website in the description. So make sure to check that out. And this would be all from the first podcast. So see you next time. And don't forget to subscribe, you know, because it doesn't even matter anymore. <laughs> anyway, trust going to say something. Well, take care, everyone. And don't forget uh, to have fun. Yeah, don't forget to have fun. See you next time.